7.54. Welcome back to Breakfast Television, and we we're pleased to welcome to the program two Olympic divers here. This is a first for our city where 120 athletes from 19 countries will compete, and we welcome Philippe as well as Vincent here this weekend. How did I do on my French accent? Good. <laughs> it's Very the first good. international yeah. diving event we've hosted here in our city. It's the Canada Cup FINA Diving Grand Prix. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, speak about, a bit, Philippe, about um, this in your season and what the Grand Prix is for those who aren't familiar, because Calgary's never had something like this before. Well, a Grand Prix is pretty much an international competition, like you said. Um, there are going to be a lot, a lot of divers on four days of competition. I think there's 120 divers throughout, I don't know, 19 countries. And uh, basically, we're competing um, for medals, pretty much. And this is a big preparation for us towards um, the next few competitions that are coming up, uh, World Cup, in about two weeks. Okay, and how does this competition uh, differ from some of the other, I mean, the Commonwealth Games, you both did very well at the Commonwealth Games, differ from other competitions like the World Cup circuit and, and other things that you would do throughout the year? Uh, well, compared to the World, uh, uh, the World Series that we've done in the past two weeks, uh, there's a lot more athletes that are here. Uh, the caliber is a little bit different, but uh, you know, every, any country can s choose to send uh, whichever athletes they want. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of divers here, and there's going to be a lot of divers in the prelims especially. So it's a different type of competition for us. The World Series is a lot fewer co uh, competitors, so it's a quick event. Um, so this one is a, a little bit longer, and we're going to have to compete with uh, you know, more diversity. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be a, a bit more challenging in terms of the prelims. Um, but uh, comparing to the World Series, uh, it's not uh, the highest caliber. Mm -hmm. uh, so for us, we're definitely, like Phil said, we're definitely going to try to aim for medals. Okay, aiming for medals. And, and in terms of uh, what you'll be able to compete with, is this a time to take chances or this is a time you're perfecting what you have going on into the World Cup? Um, I feel like for sure it's a time to take chances. Maybe not in the prelims because it's really hard to dive when there are as many as 30 divers. Because, you know, we usually do a dive a minute when we're training. And when you're diving with 30 other competitors, you're doing one dive every 15, 20 minutes. Right. But it, going down into the semifinal or the final, I'm, I think I'm going to try and do one of our, my harder dives that I don't usually put in the prelims, a front four and a half tuck. So that's a bit of a risk, but like I said, we have to take chances. Yes, this is the time to do this it. This is the time, yeah. Okay, and what other events will we see? So you'll compete as solos, and there's also some synchro that we'll see? Yeah, there's the synchro on all boards, and there's also the mixed synchro, which is a guy and a, a girl diving together. So that's a new, well, newish, newer competition. Uh, it's been three, four years now. Um, so we're going to see a good Canadian team, uh, Nathan Zombor murray and uh, Megan Benfito, who won the... Uh, the World Series in Montreal two weeks ago. We're going to see them compete um, on the platform of 10 meter. And uh, there's also Frank Francois Baudelac and uh, Jennifer Abel doing the mixed synchro on three meter, who oh, have cool. also won the World uh, the World Series uh, the last two weeks. Yeah. Yes, and we were speaking about uh, the difference between growing up in Montreal, which is the home for you, and and here in Calgary. And there are many world class divers who are in Montreal. So this for people who haven't seen a diving competition, what is it like? Well, so it consists of. Well, basically six dives for the men and five dives for, for the women. And there's a panel of seven judges. And you have to do six, six or five different dives of different directions. So you have front, back, reverse. And, well, that's, that's complicated, so I won't get into that. Yeah. But um, So you do your dive, and the panel of judges gives a score between 1 and 10. Mm -hmm. And then you take out the two lower scores and the two highest scores, and you, you add the three scores together, and you multiply that by the degree of difficulty. And that gives you a score for one dive, and then you have to go do five or six, and then I guess the highest score wins. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, yeah. well, I am excited that uh, we've got 120 athletes from 19 countries, as you mentioned, 18 from Canada, including the top athletes in their sport. The Canada Cup FINA Diving Grand Prix at the Repsol Sports Centre takes place between Thursday and Sunday, 10 to 6, so a full days of diving. Um, if that is something that you're interested, the tickets are very affordable, so a great event for the family. Just really quickly, how fun is it for you guys to watch yourselves in slow motion? <laughs> it's awesome. Well, you see all our flaws, <laughs> and the, like the toes being not pointed. We're a little bit too judgmental. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for sure, you would see something <laughs> totally different than what we see, which is spectacular and in town this weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. News, weather, and traffic coming up.